Hello and welcome to the ScholarPack census video. This video will guide you through completing a census in ScholarPack. For the most up-to-date information about the census, please go to support.scholarpack.com. This will include any census dates and any new additions to the census. To access the census, go to Admin and then Census. You will then see all the censuses for this academic year. Click on Run Census for the census you wish to complete. The census is split into two columns. The left hand side is where you'll check all of your data, and the right hand side is where you check any errors and queries, run your summaries, and ultimately download the census file. You'll also be able to see our ScholarPAP documentation, the DFE documentation, and a link to contact the DFE as well. Any notes for this particular census will be displayed here. There are two types of data that are collected for the census, specific data and standard data. Specific data is entered specifically for this census that you're completing, whereas the standard data is information pulled from your ScholarPack database. Even though this is pulled from your database, with the standard data, we still recommend that you check all of the information within these fields. First, let's look at specific data for this census. For the summer 2021 census, we'll be looking at school lunch taken on census day. This is any child in reception year one or year two that have taken a school lunch on census day. Click the view slash edit button to enter this information. This will then open up a new tab where we can enter in the school lunch taken for each child. We can now see every child in reception year one and year two, what form group they're in, their morning attendance code for census day, and if you use our Scholar Pack Meals module, what dinner choice they've selected. You can go through the final column and tick each child that have taken a school lunch on census day. Or at the bottom of this page, we have the option to pre-populate. This will then give a dinner to every child marked as a present mark or an L code for the morning session of Census Day. Click OK to confirm and each child will then be ticked. You will then need to go through and untick the children who have not had a school dinner on that day. For instance, any children with a pat lunch. Once you have done this, click the Save button. Now it's time to look at standard data. This information is all pulled through from your database. For each of these data items, the view slash edit button will either take you to our group up data, a report, or the area of the system to change it. First, we will look at the group up data. The areas on screen are all changed by using the group up data. Let's look at a few examples of how the group up data works. First, let's look at language. This will then take you to the group up data. It is selected the current year and form group as all years and all groups and the attribute as first language. You will then see all selected children and what the current value is set to. First, select from the drop down box what value you wish to set to these children. Then select the children with the select tick box, or you can click check all and untick. Once you've selected the children you wish to change, scroll to the bottom of the page and click update. Click OK to confirm and all children who are selected will be changed to the chosen value. Another example of this is funding hours. We would still select the year and form group 
and again the attribute will be set to what we select, but here the configuration is different. In order to change this information, we either need to enter the value into this area here, and then tick the select box, or if we wish to do this in bulk, enter into the fill all values with the chosen amount, and then click fill, and then tick the children you wish to assign this to. Once you have done this, click the update button at the bottom of the page, and then click OK to confirm. Only those children who are selected will be changed to the chosen value. The first three options will take you to the different parts of the system to update them. These are school, registers, and free school meal eligibility. School will take you to your school table. Click the edit button and make any changes needed. Any changes that you make, click the update button. Attendance will take you to the manage register area. Each census will look at a particular date range. Please use our documentation or the Department of Education guidance to see which date ranges these are. There's also the option to check free school meals eligibility. Set the children you wish to see, click choose, and this will show you all children that you've selected and their free school meal periods. Click edit to make any amendments. Other options include post looked after arrangements. This can be edited on a child's profile under the extended tab. Also, SCN provision. This will run the SCN report. To update SCN information, do this on the child's profile under the Support tab. Another is Exclusions. You can update these on the child's profile under the Conduct tab. And Addresses, which can be updated on the first page of a child's profile. Once all your specific data and all of your standard census data has been entered and checked, it's now time to calculate your census. You can do this by clicking the Calculate button. Once calculated, all errors and queries will show on this page. Any errors will need to be rectified and any queries will need to be checked. Each error and query will have a unique number. For instance, this error here is error 1500 meaning that a child has a missing UPN number. If we click into this error, it will open up and tell us where to go to fix this particular error. For some errors, we also have the option to fix the error. By clicking this button, it will take us to the part of the system to assign a UPN. We can click check all, or tick them individually, and then click submit. If you're unsure how to rectify the error, click the Error Details button. This will do a search within our knowledge base for this particular error. You can see here the first result is the article for this particular error. Click into here and you'll see how to rectify it. This page can be recalculated as many times as needed. By clicking the Recalculate button in the top right hand corner, you can keep clicking Recalculate whilst you're fixing errors and queries until you're at a point where you're happy with the data that you have. Once any errors and queries have been calculated, you can then run your summaries. First, we'll look at the official school summary. If you've completed the census in a previous MIS before, this will look very similar. Here, you will see lots of tables with lots of information in. For instance, Table 1 includes all of your school information. Table 2 is how many pupils you have on roll by age and gender. Table 3 includes pupils on roll in each national curriculum year 
and so on. We recommend that you print this page and go through it to make sure that all of your information is correct before you submit your census file. There is also the Scholar Pack Summary. This will show you the same information as the official school summary, but you have the option to open up the tables. First, we're going to jump to Table 5. And I can do this by clicking Jump to Table and selecting Table 5. This shows specific types of pupils on roll. And I can see here that I have three service children. To find out who these children are, I can click the Show Data button. This will then open up the table and I'll be able to see the UPN numbers for these children. Also, next to the Print button, I have a Show Such Height Names button. That will then show me the names of these children. Once you've completed your census, we recommend that you calculate it one last time to make sure that you haven't generated any more errors or queries. We also recommend that you print off a clean version of the official school summary. That way you have a paper copy. Once completed, you can then click the Download Census File button. This will then download your census file to your chosen download location. Once you've downloaded your census file, the census is complete. The information in this video is accurate at the time of recording. For more accurate, up-to-date information, please go to support.scholarpack.com.